Here we go for part two of the knife giveaway video. Here it is. We're making the handle and the sheath in this part, so check it out. Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, our knife is moving right along. It's really beautiful. I'm kind of sad I'm giving it away, but uh, I can always make myself another one and I want one of you lovely people to have it. It's stupid sharp. Oh, dropping it. You can see here this leather is pretty thick and it just, just like butter. So that's sweet. And so when I make a knife sheath, there's two kinds that I make. One kind, the knife blade slides in and it stops against the handle like that. The other kind will tuck in something like that. And then this piece in the back will fold around as a belt loop. I'm gonna make this style because the blade on this knife is he is not as heavy as the handle. On a nice long knife, I make the other type because the blade will hold it into the sheath nicely. But in this case, I'm gonna have it tuck in and it should work pretty good. I'm gonna use grommets to put this together. And what a grommet is, is it's a two piece metal thing. So it's got a little post that goes in through the back and then it's got this little uh, domey cap that goes on the front. It's really hard to show, but the two pieces go together through a hole in the leather and uh, you hammer them together with a grommet setter and they pinch the leather and you can't cut through these with a knife, which is nice. So you don't necessarily need that piece of sacrificial leather uh, in the inside. Uh, you can still put it in there because there's still potential. You'll put the blade of the knife against the metal and it could dull your knife, but uh, I probably won't do that. It's probably not necessary. The other way to do it is you could stitch it together. One of these is pretty easy to use. There's instructions online, I'm sure, on other YouTube channels on how to use it. Um, I am going to use this today as just an awl to poke some holes because I'm going to sew the belt sheath portion of this down. Uh, but I'm just going to poke holes with it the way I normally do, and then I'm going to stitch it with uh, a needle because um, I, I don't know. I just most, mostly I use this as an awl. Anyway, so we're going to get started, and uh, you'll see how I do this. I'm going to try and keep this moving pretty quick.
So here you go. Here's the knife. It's done. The sheath is done. Nice, nice and sec it, pretty secure. I mean, I maybe wouldn't do a whole lot of sprinting with it on, but otherwise it works pretty well. And uh, you kind of saw how, how I did that, put it together and just cleaned up the edges on the belt sander. And it just took me quite a while, as you could tell, because I started out this project uh, with long scraggly hair and clean shaven, and now I've got short scraggly hair and long scraggly chops. Uh, well, at least maybe they're not long, but they're scraggly. So there's the knife. Some lucky winner out there is going to get it. All you have to do, comment below. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber, but I do appreciate those who have chosen to subscribe to me. And if you would, uh, that would be much appreciated. Leave a thumbs up and uh, I'll give this away, I think, probably like March 31st. I'm pretty sure March has one of those. And uh, so on that day, I'll be uh, giving this knife away. See you next time on The Dirty Shop.